Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Alex and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you 4 ways to speed up shutdown time in Windows 10. And before I start, make sure you enable the applause on my videos to understand better what I say. So yeah, let's start. The first 3 methods, it will be on the registry editor or direct edit and in the last method it will be on the local security policy. So, to open the registry editor, you need to go to search and type registry editor or regedit. edit, it's the same thing and you should see um, the registry editor as you can see right here, the first one. Click registry editor to open it up um, and user account control should, uh, should pop up, just uh, click yes and uh, the registry editor should come up. So what you need to look for right here, you need to go to HK local machine. Um, also in the registry editor section, I go pretty pretty quick on those. Um, I'm sorry about that. If you want, um, slow down the video to catch up for yourself. But as I said, in the registry editor sections, I go pretty quick. So what you need to look for, you need to go to HK local machine, then go system, then go current control set and then click on top of the folder control do not expand it you need to click on top of the folder control and here in the right side you need to look for the wait to kill service timeout as you can see right here the value um, by default is going to be 5000 and we will need to change the value to 2000 to do that right click on top of the on the value right here and click modify change the value from 5000 to 2000 and this basically means that 5000 is 5 seconds and 2000 is 2 seconds. So what this means, when you shut down your computer, Windows 10 will try to shut down these services that are running in the background. And that usually takes about 5 seconds. And once you change the value to 2000, um, the, services, the services will shut down uh, much faster. Um, after that, hit OK. And if you see your computer being a bit unstable when shutting down, um, change that, that value back to 5000 to uh, get everything back to normal and yeah let's go to method number two next up for method number two you need to go to hk current user not the hk local machine you need to go to hk uh, current user and here you need to go to control panel then you need to hit on top the click on top the folder desktop do not expand it you need to click on top of the folder desktop and here you need to look for um as you can see there are lots of um, values right here you need to look for the wait to kill up timeout as you can see right here by default i'm pretty sure for everyone is going to be 10 thousand or in other words 10 seconds you need to right click and click modify and you need to change that value from 10,000 to 2000 so basically when you try to shut down Windows 10 um, the apps will shut down much faster 80% faster from 10 seconds to a to two seconds um, hit OK to apply that make sure you hit OK because if you don't the value won't apply and you need to look for two more uh, values right here the next value that will, that you will need to change is the hang up timeout. By default, it's going to be 3000, and we will need to change it to 2000. Right click and click modify, and change the value from 3000 to 2000. As I said, 3000 is three seconds, and 2000 is two seconds. And make sure you hit apply. And for the last value that we're going to change is going to be the auto and tasks. By default, it's going to be one, and that, and you need to change it to one. If you see a different number, for example, two or three, make sure to change it to number one. I'm pretty sure for every computer, it's it's the number number one. And yeah, if you do not see these three values, the auto and tasks, the wait to kill up timeout and the hang up timeout, um, you you will need to create them. To do that, as I said, for the people that do not see these values, to create them, you need to right click in the empty space, click new and then click string value as i said it's for the people that do not see these three values and yeah let's go to method number three for the last method on the register editor you need to go to hq local machine then system then current control set then go, go to control and scroll down a bit to find session manager if you if you are lazy to find that folder just hit the letter s on your keyboard and it should take you to the first letter s um, in here and you will see the session manager right here um, you need to expand that folder um, last time and you need to click on top of the folder memory management do not expand that folder you need to click on top of memory management and here in the right side you need to look for clear page file at shutdown um, if you do not see that value that value right here right click click new and then click the word 32-bit value 
and yeah what you need to do with that um with that one right here by default it's going to be the number zero and that's what it need to be if you see for example a different number one two or three make sure to change the number to do that you just right click click modify and change from whatever number it has there to zero and make sure you hit ok to apply that uh, that change and yeah we're done with ready to editor, editor right here and next up we'll go to the final method so for the final method you need to open local security policy to do that go to search and type local and it should come up it should say local security policy and the, the user account control won't say anything um, to open it yes or no it will just open it will just open like that without administrative administrative privileges so here what you need to do you need to look for the second folder where it says local policies you need to expand that folder and you need to click on top of the folder security options and here in the right side you will see lots of policies right here do not mess with the ones that you do not know only mess with the one that I will tell you right now so you need to scroll down to the end and you need to find the, the policy that says shut down clear virtual memory page file and here double click to open the the properties of that uh, of that policy and make sure that that policy is disabled if you see it enabled make sure to disable it um it's self explanatory of what it does it clears the virtual memory page file and after that click apply and okay and you can safely close that and close that right here and yeah that's a video guys thanks for watching if you have any problems tell me in the comment section and i'll try to help you as much as possible if you have any video ideas tell me in the comment section and i'll try to make them in the future thanks for watching guys like subscribe and share and i'll see you in my next video see ya